In the interest of time, Mr. President, I'll make four quick points. First, the illicit traffic of small arms and light weapons and related ammunition is a key enabler for sustaining conflicts by armed and terrorist groups. This necessitates the need for coordinated efforts by states to limit the acquisition of small arms and light weapons by such actors. It is therefore important that this Council exercises a zero tolerance to terror actors and their sponsors, their possession and misuse of small arms and light weapons. Second, having fought the scourge of terrorism for several decades, India is aware of the perils of the diversion and illicit transfer of small arms and ammunition to armed non-state actors and terrorists. We have suffered immensely due to cross-border terrorism and violence carried out by terrorist groups using these illicit weapons smuggled across our borders, including now through the use of drones. The increase in volume and the quality of the arsenal acquired by these terrorist organizations reminds us time and again that they cannot exist without the sponsorship or support of states. Third, International cooperation is essential in strengthening existing mechanisms for information exchange to identify diversion points, trafficking routes, customs control, cross-border cooperation, etc., to prevent diversion and the illicit transfers of small arms and light weapons and their ammunition. India accordingly supports the redoubling of efforts at the national and global levels to strengthen the implementation of the UN program of action and the international tracing instrument, including through national legislative measures and enforcement, export controls, information sharing and capacity building. Here I will add that India participated actively in the deliberations and supported the establishment of a global framework for through-like conventional ammunition management, which we hope will strengthen safe, secure and sustainable ammunition management. And four, UN peacekeeping missions could support host countries in addressing the issue of illicit transfer of small arms and light weapons through a strengthening of the capacities of the law enforcement and security agencies in the safe handling, upkeep and stockpile management of arms and weapons, including those that have been recovered from non-state actors. Mr. President, as I conclude, I will state that India attaches high importance to preventing, combating and eradicating the illicit trade in small arms and light weapons. The G20 Leaders Declaration adopted at the summit in New Delhi on 10 September 2023 emphasizes international cooperation amongst states to combat the illicit trafficking and diversion of small arms and light weapons. India regularly submits its national reports on the implementation of the Programme of Action and the International Tracing Instrument. India has also put in place a strong legislative and administrative mechanism at the national level to prevent and combat illicit trade in small arms and light weapons. In addition, India maintains strict export controls over all munitions and related items, including small arms and light weapons. Our commitment is also reflected in India's participation in the Vassanar arrangement. As plenary chair for the year 2023, India remains committed to work towards a further strengthening of the global non-proliferation architecture, including in the area of small arms and light weapons. Thank you very much.